talking about you have a stable, um, stable jobs, but in one, in all of a sudden, you get up very late and and went to bed very late, or get up very early and went to bed very early. 后面两个人，一个行为方式改变，比如说一个人他本来对对人都很友好，很乐意帮助人，那最近你别人旁边有困难，他也从来不眨眨眼，也不去帮别人，或者说和人际关系也是这样，本来和人相处都很好，最近好像总是喜欢和周围的人吵架，或者或者很糟糕的关系，这些都是可能对心理问题的早期的症状。And are the symptoms maybe strange behavior? Maybe uh, this person is very friendly to all the friends around the corner. All of a sudden, um, he, uh, he or she start ignoring everybody and not helping them. Or I may have a very good relationship with my friends, but all of a sudden, I start have a conflict or argument with them. I'm talking about these changes or early symptoms. 出现一个大范围的变化，不是说偶尔变一点点，那都是很可以接受的范围。你判断的一个标准就是，如果这件事情发生在别人身上，或者如果状况发生在别人身上，是不是也这样？如果大多数人都不是这样，就是他这样变，或者只有你这样变，那可能是出现心理问题的一个征兆。Uh, maybe majority of, of them may have such change. I'm talking about I am the only one who facing these challenges. This what how I react is not the same as majority in the group. Earlier, I was talking about the early identification. Now, if I identify myself as such mental problems, how could I uh, deal with it? How could I cope it? And the first thing is to find the causes of the problems. I need to know why I have it. 再看一下这个图，就是很复杂，让你看得眼花缭乱，你找不着头的痕迹。但是心理比较要复杂的，即便是比较，仍然能找到的。就对大多数人来讲，可能的原因无非就是我这列出来几个，因为工作上、学习上、说生活上以及其,其他的突发的事件。Uh, when you look at this picture, it's uh, quite complicated to find where is the head. However. When we talk about mental problems, it's even more complicated, but we still be able to find the causes of it. Uh, some of the causes for mental problems may be, may be from work, study, lives, and others, such as the emergency. Uh, once you uh, suspect people around you have such uh, symptoms, the first thing you should do is what are the causes? Job, how could I be better? 
though that is automatic thought. So if you keep thinking that way, keep self-loading, that's the time that you start having mental problems. So another thing is change the negative palliative. So if you look at this picture, could you count how many black dots on, uh, on the picture? 这就是人的眼睛没这个能力去说。When you look at one of the, the points there, the point that you look at is in white, but the, uh, the, the little circle around it, it's all in black. So that's your, the capacity of your eyes. There's no way that you can count how many black dots you have. 但是呢，如果一个心理不健康的人在遇到类似的情况下，第一个反应是我怎么会笨？我连这都干不了。So if you have some mental issues, when you look at this picture, you will think, oh, it's all my fault. I'm so stupid. I couldn't catch. 在生活中的事情非常多，比如说这这个饭上，一个妈妈她带孩子出门，她在买菜的时候，小孩在旁边啊往外边一跑，结果被一辆路过的摩托车给撞伤了，她第一反应是哎呀，都是我，我干嘛
，预防住这些心理压力啊，或者你处理掉之后，就不会发展到很严重性。Um, earlier we talked about all the mental problems. Now every day we are facing uh, things that maybe um, it's not as the way that we want it to be, and that could start accumulated to be a mental problem. However, in order to prevent mental problem, we should start doing preventions and have a mental problem become mental wellness issues. Yeah. 谈这个心理应激呢，我还是要给大家一个简单的定义啊，什么样的事情是心理应激？事实上呢，心理应激是一种保护性的反应，就是当你遇到外界的一些威胁啊或者危险的时候，人的生理上、心理上、身体各部分集中起能量。